Okay, this is about the RuneScape 3 interfaces and what you can do with them. Let's start up here at the mini map up here. You got your mini map up here, it looks completely different. You have your compass, you have your world map. Here's your run energy now. Looks completely different. Toggle it off, toggle it on, right there. Here's home telly now. This is where your home telly is. Way more convenient than going through your spell book. You also can resize it to bigger or smaller as you want, but it does have a maximum. You see where the orange box is? That says maximum as you can get it, so if I do that, it resizes it to there. I don't like it that big, so I'm going to go back down to a more appropriate size for me. But if you see how it looks out, the arrow, my cursor up here, you can move it. So I can move it anywhere on the screen I want to. It's more convenient. So if you like it down here, you can have it down there. If you like it up here, you can have it up here. I like the classic way, so I'm going to move it back up here. Okay, you have your backpack. Let's move down to your backpack here. If, if it doesn't look like this when you log in, that's fine. If it looks like that, that's fine. You see where the sword, sword and shield is highlighting? If you put your mouse over it, you will see open worn equipment and open backpack. Click open backpack, and there's your backpack. If you put your mouse over here again and go open worn equipment, if you click that, it'll create another tab. Here's your backpack. Here's your worn equipment. Now, if you want them separate, this is where the RuneScape 3 comes fun. If you click and then drag it out, you can drag it out right beside it. Now, I have my worn equipment and my backpack right here. If I want to put them back together, I just grab it and drop it right back in there, and it goes right back to the tabs. Now, if I want to bring this out, and if I want to make this smaller, I can. See, I can make it that small if I want to. I can make it really big if I want to. If you want to get rid of it, you click the X right there. This is close. It gets rid of it. it. Brings it back down to here. Now here we have, this is your social. That's your social. This is your open task bar. This is if you have a daily challenge that you pin. Here's your assignment master. It's what I have. I can make this small or big or get rid of it altogether. A lot of these interfaces are that way. Now, if you're wanting to know where your chat box is and stuff, it's right here with these two people. This is your social. Open clan, open friends chat, open friends. If I click open friends, you notice it puts a tab in there. Here's my backpack and here's my friends. Here's my clan. And here's a French chat if I was in a French chat. Now, obviously with the French chat, if I wanted to, uh, to uh, join one, you click join French chat and type in whichever name you want to. If I want to get rid of this, you just go up to this X right here. It will not close this entire thing. It will just close that tab. So if I click that X, it closes that tab out. The friends tab is gone. Now, if you're in a French chat or in a clan chat and it looks like this where you can't see anybody's name but you can just see their world, what you're going to do is move your mouse till you see those two arrows, click, and pull it till you see names, which however, which, what, however you want to do it. There's your friends list. Your friends list should look like that. Now, here's your, here's your Squeal of Fortune. If you click that, it's going to pop up this, Spend Spins, or Solomon General Store. Here's RuneScape 3 Help right now. I don't know if they're ever going to get rid of that, but here's your RuneScape 3 Help. And here's your options. Now there's two ways you can get to this option menu. You can either click this cog right here or press the escape key. Press the escape, escape key. It's going to give you option menu. Here's where your game settings is. You can customize it however you want. Adventure log. Choose what your adventure log will display. This will tell people what you say. If you want to say, okay, I don't want people to know what my Dungeoneering Deepest Floor is, you click that, and it will no longer tell people. If you don't want to tell people how many, what bosses you've killed, you can unclick that. If you don't want people to know what you, know, what you spent on tokens, 
or once you found a thing, any level up, you can customize it however you want there. General assist, um, hover over the options to find out more about these items. Accept aid, right click reporting, hide familiar options, and tutorial mode. You have all of these questions. Here's your house settings too. Building mode, teleport to house, house, or portal. If you want the doors open or closed. Here's my notes. Here's leave house, expel guests, interface. Now this is this is where, where uh, this is also what you can do. If you look here, do you want slim skin skin windows? If I unclick that, I had that clicked. You notice these how how bigger they are. It says clan here, all chat here, settings here. You can actually make it more transparent or make it deeper. Where you can't see through it. It's all up to you. It's however you want it done. And you can lock interface customization. This right here, if I click that, it's now locked my screen. I can't do anything else. I'm not going to be able to drag, like if you look here, exit out of here. I don't have an option to move my mini map anymore. My mini map is locked. Now to get back there, click exit. Game settings, interface. See, I don't want to do that. So let's unlock it. Show experience tracker. It's this right here. I toggle that off. It disappears. I toggle it on. It reappears. Okay. Uh, interface options. Always show target information. That's if you're, if you have your mouse over something and you want to, you want to target somebody. There was a highway man running around here. There he is. See? Shows you. This right here shows you the name, what he's weak to. He's weak to uh, to water spells. So if I want to get get that, I can click that off. Oh, this. Hmm. That must be the glitch. That must be the glitch right there. I like it on anyway, so... Let's leave that on. Task complete pop up when you uh, uh, complete a task or a daily challenge. That'll pop that up. Task information window. Experience pop ups. If you wanted to scroll up and everything like that, you know, show experience what experience you're getting. If you're wood cutting or whatever, you can do that. Uh, see if that is. Okay. Make X progress window. Do you want that shown or not? Now, you can... As you can see, I can move that around too. Open edit mode. If you click this, you're going to get 3D world editing. It's going to edit the 3D world. Minigame HUD editing. Gameplay HUD editing is something that's really important right there. If you click that, it's going to pop all this stuff up. See where the XP tracker is? I can actually now move my XP tracker down here if I want. Game interface, grave timer. See, here's your grave timer. If you ever need a grave where it's going to pop up, that that's all up to you. Area status, new task. Game interface. And if I move the settings out of the way, you will see bank right here. You can move the bank when you open the bank. The bank will be however you want. Right now, if you see how big the bank is, that's how big my bank is going to be. Now, I like my bank big. So, I'm going to move down here. Move that all the way down here. And move that up in the middle of my screen. That way my bank will be really big. So, you have all these tasks complete, new interface. Here is buffs and debuffs. I'll explain that a little bit later, but this will tell you what's going on with your character. So if you want to move that out of the way, if you have it in the middle of your screen, it'll look really odd. Right now, this little thing is momentum. I'll explain that later, but right here. Look, I like to move that actually down to right here. I want to click save and exit. Confirm. That'll save all that stuff there. Then you have controls. 
graphics, and audio. We'll close out of that. Now, if you look over here, we've got the chat window. The chat window is the same thing as it was uh, was over here in the backpack. You can resize it. You can move it. You look at the orange box. That's how big it'll be. Now, in, this is also, you've got these tabs right here. Private chat, friends chat, clan chat, guest clan chat, and emotes. All chat. I'll put them all together. Now, with this all chat, you have here, gay message filter, gay message off game message on. Then you have local chat, friends only, which has uh, private chat, friends only, friends chat off. If I wanted to see friends chat here, I click that on, and I'd be able to see the friends chat there. Clan chat, guest clan chat, trade request, assist, and profanity filter. Yeah, I can toggle through that. Now, over here, you see this little diamond shape. Online status is on. That means anybody can see me on. If I click that again, it says online status, friends only, which means only pe only people on my friends list can see me on. If I click that, online status is off. That means nobody can see me on. I like to put it on friends. And then here's a report and issue. Now, you can also take these tabs and drag them out. So, if I was talking to somebody in private message and we were having a conversation and I wanted it just to see them talking and only them, I can pull that private chat out right here. Then I can make that as big or as small as I want. I can also move it anywhere on the screen that I want to. So, if I want to put it up here and see that, I can see that too. Now, if you're done with that and you don't have any, you know, you're not talking in private chat anymore and you're done with the conversation, you can pull it back down here, and you see where the arrow is? You can position it however, whichever one you want to put it at. If I want to put it at the very end, I can put it at the very end. If I want to put it in between my all chat and friends chat, I can do that too. It's the clan chat. If there's a bunch of people talking, you can pull that up too. And then I'll be able to talk in here. I don't have to use the slashes. I can just start talking, and it'll pop up. Now, if you look down here, it brought me over to guest chat. If I wanted to go back to all, I click all chat again, and it does double it right here, but it moves it up here and puts it all together so you can only see your clan talking if that's the case, or your friends chat talking, or your private talking. That's all up to you. It's completely customizable. Now, there's one more thing I want to talk about. Oh, and down here, this is the abilities. I'll go over this on another video, so do not worry about that. But uh, another thing I wanted to tell you about is if you press Escape, again, in Game Settings, you have Quick Load Layout. Now, this one, you can actually choose between their layouts, or you can make your own. I just showed you how to make your own. Now, if I wanted to save it, Quick custom. We'll go to interface settings. Oh, it's not interface settings. Um, interface. Here it is. It's interface. Open edit mode. Save as preset. So if I want to save this, I click custom one. Save and exit. Confirm. Now, <clears throat> I exit out of that, but if we go here again, click Quick Load Layout as on Classic. You can do RS Default, which looks like that. Classic. Retro. Social. Friends Chat, Private, All Chat, Clan Chat. Old School. or my custom. There's my custom. Now if I want to exit out of lobby, there's your exit out of lobby and there's your log out as well. So it's down here, you click the options, lobby and log out or press exit. 
This is the end of the first video. I'll go over more on another video.